This is a TV5 News special. Campaign 2016, the Democratic presidential debate in Flint. You are taking a live look at the Whiting in Flint, where in one hour, Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders will take to the stage to discuss the issues facing both Michigan and the entire country. Good evening, and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Colette Boyd. And I'm David Custer. We're coming to you live from the former Flint Central High School, right across the street from the Whiting Auditorium. Tonight, the Vehicle City will be the backdrop for the Democratic debate as Hillary Clinton tries to widen her lead over Bernie Sanders. That's right, but the national spotlight in Flint tonight is certainly bittersweet as motivation for the debate being held here tonight is certainly not a very positive one. The Democratic candidates chose Flint, of course, because of the water crisis. The crisis started when the city in 2014 under state emergency control decided to change the city's water supply from the Detroit system to the Flint River. It was a move expected to save the city millions of dollars a year. But over the next two years, it was found that the heavily treated water was so corrosive it was leaching lead from service lines that are decades old. The city switched back to Detroit late last year, but by then the damage was done. Dozens of children around the city have elevated lead levels, and the people still cannot drink the water from the tap. And finally, this week, the city started digging up the lead service lines at homes impacted most by the water crisis. Getting to all the impacted homes is expected to take several years and cost hundreds of millions of dollars. Tonight, the people of Flint are hoping the candidates will spend a considerable chunk of time on the water crisis and their respective plans to help the city. Both Sanders and Clinton know that winning over Michigan voters is crucial to the success of their campaigns. The two have been touring Michigan all week talking to voters leading up to the debate. If I am your Democratic nominee, I will make Detroit a central issue in this campaign. I will make Flint a separate issue in this campaign. I will make Michigan's comeback a story of resilience and success in this campaign. And we think we're going to do very well here on Tuesday in your great state. But no matter who wins this Democratic nomination, I have not the slightest doubt that on our worst day, we will be infinitely better than the Republicans on their best day. And tonight, we will bring you team coverage of the debate from across the city. That's right. And right now, we are going to welcome in the third member of our team, Meg McLeod. Hi, Meg. Hello there, guys. I'm standing outside of where all of this action is taking place. You can kind of see it across the lawn. We have tons of supporters of both Bernie and Hillary. And from my vantage point, I'm actually seeing a majority of Bernie Sanders supporters. And speaking of those Bernie Sanders supporters, I have with me Sage and Ruth Villeneuve, who are both from Fenton, mother and daughter duo, here supporting Sanders. So first to you, Ruth, why'd you guys decide to come out? Well, we're big Bernie Sanders supporters and we're also just really excited to have this political process so close to home so my kids can come out and see democracy in action and can participate wonderful wonderful and sage for you why do you support Bernie Sanders um, for me I am definitely supporting in the upbringing upbringing of the middle class and also being interested in affordable college tuition Wonderful, wonderful. And last question for you ladies. So what do you guys think about such an event like this coming to Flint? I mean, you guys were down there just a few minutes ago. What's it like? It's, it's amazing. I love Flint. Um, we live in Fenton, but we come up here all the time and to see such a wonderful event and so many people interacting together is just is more than I could have hoped for. Wow. Sage and Ruth, I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining us. And for now, we'll send it back to David and Colette. Okay, thank you, Meg. The debate is bringing in political heavyweights from all over the country here to Flint. And tonight, many of them are gathering in what's commonly referred to as the spin room. That's where we find the final member of our team tonight, Andrew Keller. Drew. Thanks, David. This is where the action away from the action happens. We are in the spin room, uh, U University of Michigan Flint's Recreation Center. This is typically a gym transformed into a press area, national media, uh, local media, um, even state media from all over here converging in for tonight's debate. Uh, matter of fact, we're also seeing some big hitters, including Democratic National Committee Debbie Wasserman Schultz. We had a one on one with her a little bit ago, and I asked her some questions like how big of an impact it is that this situation, that this debate is in Flint. 
Debbie Wasserman Schultz, DNC Chair. Um, the importance of having this in Flint, this is a historic day for the city of Flint. What was the importance for the Democratic Party to bring everything here? It was important to the Democratic Party to be here to shine a spotlight on the crisis here, not only to be here for the people of Flint, but also to make sure that we broaden this out and demonstrate that this is a problem not only in Flint, but we have to invest in infrastructure all across the country to make sure this never happens to anyone else. Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton both have talked about Flint water crisis. Um, this is something that is very important to the people of Flint. Absolutely. Maybe brings that bigger question about infrastructure into this. What do you think we expect to hear tonight? Well, I think you'll hear a focus in the questions on the local problems in Flint, but you'll also hear more broadly, as I said, the need to continue to build on the economic progress we've made. We've had six straight years of job growth in the private sector because of the kinds of investments that we've made under the Obama administration. Adding another Democrat in the White House is going to continue that, and electing a Republican would take us backwards to the failed policies that got us into the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. And we don't want to go backward. You brought up the Republicans, obviously, a race there, Donald Trump leading. Everyone was in Detroit just on Thursday. How does this going to contrast to what we heard in huh. Detroit? Well, you'll continue to hear our candidates talk about substantive issues, even when they differ, compared to the bloody mess of a debate that was Thursday night, where the Republicans, even when the question about Flint came up, they ignored it, spent about 30 seconds on it, and went back to beating the heck out of each other and made really vulgar, inappropriate references were, were, were anything but presidential. And the contrast couldn't be more clear. Maybe this is a fair question, but Flint water crisis, could this be a turning point in the campaign, what their plan is, uh, Hillary's plan, Bernie's plan to deal with the infrastructure issues that our country's dealing with? I mean, I think what the people of Flint and Michigan and all across the country tonight will hear is the dramatic contrast between our candidates, who will eventually, one of whom will eventually be our nominee and ultimately elected president, because we understand the priorities of the American people, the need to invest in continuing to make sure we can move our economy forward, invest in infrastructure that creates jobs and helps improve people's quality of life, versus the Republicans who don't get it and want to take us backwards and unravel all of the progress we've made. Hillary has a double-digit lead in the latest polls taken uh, here in Michigan. Is this, is there going to be a point where Bernie is not going to be able to continue or do you think that this could be, Tuesday's go, could be a very big day for him as uh, we move forward? Well, it's my responsibility as party chair to manage the primary as it, as it progresses and so that is certainly for those candidates to make those decisions. Debbie Wasserman Schultz, thank, thank you very you. much. I my appreciate pleasure. it. My pleasure. And many of the articles you read uh, recapping the debate, they'll have, actually they'll be typed right in this room, a lot of them, because this is where national media will be watching this debate unfold. We, like you at home, have to watch it on television. Nancy Cordes, CBS affiliate, chances are you've seen her on our uh, TV station ourselves, uh, our, our our local TV station. Uh, what's You know, you're on the campaign trail. How big of an impact is this having this here in Flint? Well, this debate is very critical, especially to Bernie Sanders, because uh, Michigan has 130 delegates. It's, it's second only to Texas in terms of the size of the states that the candidates have competed in so far. And he's sort of betting it all on Michigan. He's saying, I am coming on strong. I'm gaining steam. Uh, he thinks that his message will really play well here in Mich Michigan. He's been talking about uh, trade and, and the fact that he's always been against most of these uh, big free trade agreements. And Hillary Clinton has been for them. So this debate takes on added importance because if he can't win here or at least close the gap, because most most polls, including our own that just came out today uh, on CBS News, show that she actually has a pretty wide lead at this point. If he can't close that gap, it sort of hurts his argument that, you know, that he's picking up uh, steam as he goes along. We've seen him a lot in Michigan on uh, two, uh, Wednesday. He was at Michigan State where he pretty much said Michigan is a must win. Mm -hmm. He's going for the younger vote while Hillary is saying, you know, she has her stakes here. Right. What is the importance as we move forward, uh, you know, f infrastructure questions? You mm -hmm. know, that seems to be a very big question uh, that's really picked up steam with this uh, crisis here. Right. And both of them have really uh, picked up on this Flint crisis. Hillary Clinton talks about it in virtually in every speech, not just here in Michigan, but across the country. We travel with her. She brings up the Flint crisis everywhere she goes, uh, particularly when she's speaking to African-American audiences. But, uh, you know, but really Really, you know, it's something that she has picked up on, partly because both candidates are trying to show uh, that they would be the one best able to lead the country in a crisis. And so you saw Hillary come to Flint very early on, meet with the residents, and Bernie Sanders did the same thing. Uh, they both want to show uh, that they're leaders and that they have a plan when things like this happen.
Hanson Cortez, CBS News. We'll watch for your reports tonight. How's that? All right, right, absolutely. And uh, obviously, this is a very uh, important campaign. You heard it right from Nancy. You heard it from Bernie on uh, Wednesday. And um, obviously, a lot of eyes will be watching this. This could be a decisive moment moving forward. David, I hope you're staying warm outside because we're live here in Flint. I'm Andrew Keller, and we'll send it back to you. I'm sure it's a lot warmer where you are, Drew. Thank you. And the last Democrat to lead the state of Michigan is also in Flint tonight to watch the debate. That's right. Governor Jennifer Granholm is in town. Granholm was governor for eight years before the Snyder administration took over. But don't expect Granholm to be critical of her Republican successor. tv 5s Faith Gantner talked to her just about a half an hour ago before she went into the White Eight. Someone who knows a thing or two about influencing voters here in Michigan, a former governor of Michigan, Jennifer Granholm. Thanks so much for being with us tonight. You bet, Faith. Glad to be here. First, really glad to be here, honestly. First thing I want to ask you, what are you expecting out of the debate tonight? Well, I think it will be an interesting contrast because I'm, I'm a Hillary Clinton supporter. And I think that um, between she and Senator Sanders, who both really want to see manufacturing jobs be in this country, but there will be a distinction, I think, between the two of them about how to go about that. So Hillary Clinton has put together this really comprehensive policy about how to lure um, economic, you know, economic activity into communities like Flint that have been hard hit. And that, I think, is going to be really important for our citizens to hear. So I'm really excited to hear the contrast. She's so uh, experienced and she's, you know, been at this a long time. I think it will be good for the voters to see them side by side, especially talking about what they would do for communities like Flint. And as far as the people and voters here in Michigan go, why is Hillary Clinton the best choice? Well, she's obviously got the experience and international experience and global experience, which is really important. She has the passion. She's been doing this in terms of fighting for people and for children and for families her entire life. And she has the most broad and deep policies to be able to address the issues that people are most concerned about, like jobs in, in our state, but also like making sure that we're able to compete in a global economy and create jobs in America and that we don't have to see all of these jobs leave and Flint is exactly the right place to be to have that conversation. Bernie Sanders is lagging behind a bit in the delegate count right now, but he just picked up two more states yesterday. Yeah. What do you think it will take for him to get more votes right now? Well, I think it's you know it's a little tough for him because he needs to um, do a much better job, I think, in attracting more diverse support in the African American community, the Latino community, and she has been there uh, for those communities for a very long time. So it's hard to break through, perhaps, a bit. You know, he's been very successful, obviously, in getting young people to be excited and that is terrific and in the end the good thing about both of these candidates is that Democrats like them both and so whoever ends up being the nominee will be able to bring all of the various wings of the Democratic Party together. And turning to the GOP race really quick Donald Trump is the front runner right now whoever wins the Democratic nomination what do you think that race would look like if Donald Trump wins the Republican nomination? Oh I think it's going to be a massive contrast no matter who it is whether it's Donald Trump or Ted Cruz there will be a huge and clear choice for voters. The Republicans have been promoting the same old stuff that has not worked, the same old trickle-down stuff, anti-immigrant, anti-women, anti-choice, anti-science, anti-Mexican. I mean, it's been the same old, same old. And the Democrats, particularly Hillary Clinton, will put together a coalition that looks like America and that addresses the problems that the breadth of America wants addressed. I think it's going to be a fantastic contrast. Here in Flint, all eyes of the nation are on our community right now. What do you think this debate tonight, what is going to be the long-term impact? What do you hope we'll see out of it? Well, first of all, obviously we want the pipes replaced and the children addressed, their health, their education, etc. The pipes issue, which there has to be, people have to have their hair on fire about this. I, I, I was saying yesterday, whoever fixes this should come and live in this community and live in one of those houses and take their showers with bottled water and experience the anxiety and the anguish that the citizens are feeling for them to understand the urgency of the moment. There is a senator right now on the federal level who's putting a hold on federal dollars. That senator, who's a strong ally of Ted 
Cruz, for example, doesn't want the federal government to step up. Hello, the federal government steps up when communities across the country are in crisis. This community is in crisis. And yes, the state has to pony up as well, and they're starting to do that. It's not quick enough. It's not enough. But the bottom line is there has to be a wraparound for Flint and communities like Flint across the country who are experiencing this. But Flint's case is the poster child case for the rest of the nation. This is where Republicans and Democrats should come together and say it is not acceptable for a community to be poisoned. All right. Jennifer Granholm, former governor of Michigan, thank you so much yeah, for you your bet. time. Glad to be here. Thanks so much. We appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yep, Thanks. You bet. And Governor Granholm will be inside the Whiting to watch tonight's debate. We also have some sad news to pass along tonight. Former First Lady Nancy Reagan died today at her home in Los Angeles. A spokeswoman says she died of congestive heart failure. She was known for her strong will and grit, never leaving her husband's side after a failed assassination attempt in 1981. She also battled breast cancer and won. Mrs. Reagan will be buried at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library in California next to her husband. She was 94 years old. And we have much more still ahead, including what the person tasked with leading the city through this crisis would like to hear tonight. Yeah, we'll hear from Mayor Karen Weaver as her city gets set to host the Democratic debate. Plus, we speak with another former governor. Next, you'll hear what James Blanchard says each candidate needs to do to win over voters tonight. And we're hearing from many of you on the TV5 Facebook page tonight. Jamie says he will be looking for the candidates to talk about what they would do to punish the so-called leaders of Michigan due to the Flint water crisis. He also wants to hear how the families will be compensated for all their troubles. We'll be right back.